हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सेक्स लर्निंग दिस इज नी सिंह अगेन इन टूडे सेशन वी विल जस्ट सी हाउ यू कैन जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट फ्रॉम योर लोकल मशीन टू दी वी एम वे सर्वर और हाउ यू कैन मैप योर लोकल डिस्क टू दी वी एम वे सर्वर सो यू कैन इजिली कॉपी पेस्ट समथिंग फ्रॉम योर लोकल मशीन टू दी विंडो सर्वर ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दी वी एम वे टूल पार्ट let's discuss about the vmware vmware it's a you can say uh, it does provide the capability to just install the virtual machine let's say in your system if you will install the vmware workstation software you can just easily build the virtual machine inside your laptop means using the vmware so vmware is the company which is uh, like us based and they just provide the different services like cloud computing and virtualization okay vmware tools <clears throat> vmware tools are used for the copy paste so in your machine when you built a, a windows server using the virtual machine so you need to install the vmware tools so in some of the version of your vmware these tools gets installed automatically you don't need to install manually but in some version like uh, if you are using vmware 16 or 17 you need to install the vmware tools and then only you will be able to copy paste something from your local machine to the windows server there is another method uh, which you can use to just map your local disk to the windows server and using this method you can also easily uh, copy paste something from your local machine to the vmware server so let's uh, discuss practically so i have already created one server so if you uh, want to learn how to build a windows server or how to install the vmware you can just watch the previous videos i have already uh, shared and already explained how you can build a windows server okay so state away let's discuss how you can install the copy uh, install the vmware tools and how you can allow the copy paste in your local machine so first of all this is a vmware workstation and it's a 15 version 15 so to install the vmware tools first we need to just right click on it can you see this is your machine name just right click on it and you will see vmware tools so in your case if it is grayed out let's take one example this option is grayed out because it may happen this option will be grayed out in in your server so what you need to do first power off you can just simply uh, power off the server again right click go to settings and you need to delete the floppy so in my case i don't have the floppy option but in your case if you see there is a floppy just select that floppy and click on remove button and once it is uh, removed click on okay and simply power on the virtual machine and when you power on the virtual machine you will see that option install vmware tools so in that case after uh, power on the system you can just simply install the vmware tools so let me log in using this option can you see there are two options to log in because sometimes your laptop uh, keys will not work here so you can just either you can right click and send control or delete or there is one option if you will tap on this it will ask you the password okay so after doing this you can simply right click and install vmware tools okay after you click on the install vmware tools it will pop up can you see this pop up is coming let's say you miss this pop up so what you can do go to your file explorer click on this pc and right click on this dvd d and install or run from your media so it will start the installation and all values you need to keep it default just click on next 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 and install and this will be installed 
it will take some while like some uh, i think less than a minute okay so you can see it is installed and click on finish and you can restart the server okay there is one more point guys in your case if you are not seeing this option like your restart option is not coming up because it may happen in your lab you are not seeing this option so you just need to tap on this can you see there is a windows option tap on this and if you will click on this power option you will see a restart button so you need to do restart if you are not seeing this pop up if you are not seeing this option because restart is mandatory if you do not restart your vmware tools will not be installed and you won't be able to copy paste anything that's the uh, vmware tools installation okay let's wait okay so it's done so just log in cool so vmware tools are installed now let me go to full screen cool and let's try to copy paste something i will just uh, try to copy paste some file let's try this new text document right click copy go back to your server and just right click and paste so you can see i was able to copy paste from your from my local machine so that's your vmware tools installation but there is important part here so what happens generally we make some mistake let's say as of now i am logged in with the administrator cool but let's say i have some more accounts let's do one thing i will create one more account because administrator is a default account i am creating something admin let's say uh, i am going with the admin you can have anything and let me just uh give some password okay just a minute yeah okay so let's say i have just created one user cool and i will make this user a part of administrator scrub if you will double tap on it click on member of add and you can search for admin here admin and check names okay let me just okay it's not coming so let's click on advanced button find now and you can double tap on this administrator click on okay okay so now this admin user is also a part of administrator group which means this admin user have the equal rights to administrator okay so what uh, mistake we generally make as you can see i am logged in with the administrator and using this administrator account only i have installed the vmware tools but let's say you forgot and you log in with a different user let's say let's take the example now i am log in with the different user click on admin or you can you will have the option to other user if i log in with the this user okay and it will ask me to just vmware tools modification let's wait for it because every user having the different profile whatever you are doing with the another user that will not be replicated to another user so you need to make sure you are just following the same in your lab environment okay if i'll try to copy paste it will not work because i have installed the vmware tools using the administrator not with the admin if you will see who am i so this time i am logged in with the admin user not with the administrator so if i'll try to copy paste something let me show you if let's say i'm using this file again just copy and go back to your server this is not going to work you can see paste option is grayed out why so because i logged in with the different user
If you want to allow the copy paste for this user, you need to again reinstall the VMware tools. But remember one thing, if next time if you will log in with the administrator, you will face this issue again. So make sure you are using the same user which you used in starting. Otherwise, you will face this copy paste option. There will be issue with the copy paste. Okay, so this was related to VMware tools, but how you can map a local disk means as of now, this is my VMware local disk. If I wanted to map the my local computer disk here, so how I can do and how it will allow the copy paste. So let's see, just right click on this option, go to settings. And one more thing, this local disk option will be only applicable when you have installed the VMware tools for the first time. Otherwise, you won't be able to do so. So click on the option button, shared folder and always enabled or enabled until next power off. Totally depends upon you. Select the map as a network drive. Click on add option. Next. Browse. In your local machine, which folder you want to map to this. So let's say I'm going with the uh, desktop. So I'm just selecting the desktop. Click on OK. Next. And finish. And click on OK. OK. So let's wait. Okay. Okay. So when you see this option, network discovery is turned off. So what you need to do, right click on it, turn on network discovery. Yes. And after that, you will start seeing your local disk in the network folder. Can you see this is your VMware host? If you will double tap on it, shared folder and you can see desktop and I have mapped my local desktop to this VMware. If let's say I was just trying to copy the new text document. Now, if you will see, I will just copy and paste here. And you can see the copy paste is working now. So this is another method guys, which you can use to allow the copy paste. If one option is VMware tools. Another option is this following the shared method means shared folder. You can map your shared folder and you can map the same shared folder to every Windows server. So it will be easy for you to just copy paste. Cool. And you can map any disk. It's not something you can map only desktop only. You can map your download folder, C folder, any other folder as well as if your copy paste is not working. And this is to only allow the copy paste in your virtual machine. Cool. Or if you are using the VMware tools, then make sure you are logging with the same user. Don't log in with the different user. If you will log in with the different user, you are going to face this challenge. Okay. That's all in today's session. And please subscribe to this channel for more such videos. I will just keep uploading more basic to advanced videos so that it will be easy for you to just troubleshoot the issue and start learning. So thank you guys. Have a nice day.